What's up guys, this is Quante, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And well, if it isn't Knuckles himself, and I can already tell he's hiding something by the look on his face. Hmm. And he wouldn't have closed that door. Hmm, something's very suspicious about this, yeah. Well, let's go have a look-see. He's hiding a giant ring big enough to give a kid a seizure, even at Texas freaking flashing. But, jumping in this ring will teleport us to this new special stage hub. And if you gathered all seven of the Chaos Emeralds from the Sonic 3 portion of the game, you'll be able to do all new special stages, like the one here. And so, that's what I meant by you have to get 14 Chaos Emeralds in this game, or at least do 14 special stages. But I didn't get all seven of the Chaos Emeralds, so I'm not even going to attempt to do this, because there'd be no point. Because I'd only be able to successfully do one special stage from, you know, this part of the game. And so there'd be no point, you know? <laughs> and so if I ever run into, like, any special stage rings or whatever, I'll just have to skip over them or something, mainly because I won't be able to do any special stages anyway, because I don't have any of the other Chaos Emeralds. And that'd just be a waste of time, <laughs> and a waste of your viewer time, you know, just to watch me do all that, and then, you know, it didn't benefit to anything in the game. And it'd be a waste of my time even more, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I actually wish I was good at those special stages, though, because I really want to play as Hypersonic, because that's what you get for, like, um, getting all 14 of the special stages completed and stuff like that. And you get an all-new, like, extra zone, and this is one of the first, um, instances where you actually unlock a secret boss for actually collecting all of the Chaos Emeralds and stuff like that. And then that sort of became a staple in the Sonic series, or at least the 2D Sonic series. Well, not all of them, actually. Just this one. Like, I've, you get the Doomsday Zone, and I've never played the Doomsday Zone simply because I just suck at these freaking nauseating Blue Sphere special stages. I pretty much suck at any special stage in any Sonic game, so I don't know why I'm complaining. You know, I've only done Sonic 4, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> but this is Mushroom Hill Zone. Mushroom Hill Zone is another one of my favorite zones in the Sonic series. I'm actually really glad it got featured in, like, the, um, Sonic Generations 3DS, like, the 3DS version of Sonic Generations, even though that one was kind of short and not as good as the console versions. I mean, it made it through that one, so I'm pretty happy. Because Mushroom Hill Zone is actually very memorable. It was so good that they didn't have to change the stage at all. Like, for Classic Sonic, it's, it's the exact same stage you just saw, pretty much. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I'm not totally sure, but it's it's pretty similar. And, ooh, rings! Gotta love those rings. Even though we're not gonna get to keep them, because that's the end of the stage, and then we'll just tally it up into our score. There we go. And now we're back to Zero. Okay, let's go meet up with our old friend Knuckles again. And what the heck? He has control over freaking nature, the terrain. Unless, like, the ground had fans installed in them and whatnot. I don't know what Knuckles is doing. He's a freaking mastermind. I, I don't really know. <laughs> He's not a mastermind at all. We all know it's Eggman. Despite him having an IQ of 300, he lacks common sense. But whatever. You know, Eggman's a freaking good character. And oh my god, Tails was freaking holding me down. That's sort of weird. I didn't really like those things too much when I was a kid. Like, I always thought the process of having to press down in order to make those things go up was really tedious and slow. <laughs> like, I don't really know why. I was very impatient as a kid, especially when playing Sonic. Like, coming to a dead end in a Sonic game was always the most frustrating thing. Especially when you're running really fast and then you just stop. That, that used to piss me off so much. But now it really doesn't, you know. Good enough at the game not to stop. <laughs> No, no, no boastful commentary, Quante. That's a bad thing. No one likes boastful commentary. That's just, that's just the worst things. And ooh, seasonal change. <laughs> I always like that about this zone. It's like Sonic is traveling really fast, but yet it's like he's traveling so fast that the seasons are changing. <laughs> or I don't really know. That really doesn't make any sense. I, I really don't know what I, where I was going with that. I, I really don't. I guess I could say he's going so fast, he's going through time. That that would make more sense. Oh well, I should just get off this topic. Because we're almost at the end of Mushroom Hill Zone, <laughs> believe it or not. It's actually pretty much over right now. And yes, these hits on the boss do count, I think. So if you get enough hits in right there, 
you can actually beat this boss again in one hit like I did that one boss back in Marble Hill Zone. And so that's just another one of those scenarios where Eggman is just so easy. Oh god, I gotta watch out now because I don't have any rings. Well, not really. <laughs> that's the end of Mushroom Hill. That only took five minutes? Really? Oh well. You know, this... I'm still gonna do that one zone per episode thing, so I guess you guys get a extra short episode today. That's pretty nice. That noise is just terrible. Oh my god. But that is the flying battery zone, and that's where the next zone is gonna inevitably take place. So Sonic bravely jumps onto it, and I like how they made Tails fly. You know, that's, that's pretty good. But in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we will do Flying Battery Zone, so I'll see you guys then.